Hi kids, I really miss being with you and I wish I was there to tell you the Bible sermon story today, but I'm not. So we're gonna do it on video. Sometimes when I'm walking around the neighborhood, I see signs like this. It's a lost dog sign. It says, our dog Rascal has been missing since March 1st. We love Rascal very much and we want him back. If you find him, please call us. And then it offers a $25 reward. Well, I see signs like this and it makes me really sad because I think about how much they must miss Rascal. They must worry about him and, and wonder if he's getting fed right or if he's getting loved on or is he sleeping at night. It's heartbreaking when you lose something that you really love. Have you ever lost something that you really, really, really loved It was important to you? What about if you found it? Doesn't that make you feel so good? Well, our story today is in the book of Luke. And it's one that Jesus tells, and it's about a father who had two sons. The younger son decides he wants to go off and live his own life. So he asks his father for his inheritance. And his father, even though he's heartbroken that his son is going to leave, he gives it to him. So the son goes off and he lives a wild life. He spends all of his money on foolish things, and pretty soon he has no money, no food, no job, and he doesn't know what he's going to do. So he decides to take a job feeding pigs for a living. Can you imagine mucking around in a stinky stall with a bunch of dirty pigs and feeding them? And he realized the pigs are eating so much better than he was. And he thought, maybe I need to go back home to my father and ask for forgiveness. Maybe he would hire me as a servant, he thought. So he decides to do that. He starts heading home and before he reaches the house, thinking his father would be angry with him, he sees his dad come running out of the house, his arms open wide, and he's so excited to see his son. He throws his arms around him and he gives him a hug and he kisses him. And he says, we're gonna have a big feast because I've lost my son and now he is back again. He was super excited. Well, God wanted us to know this about how much he loves us and how about even when we fail or stray, he always welcomes us back with open arms. And that's what the story is really all about. Aren't you happy that you have a loving father, a loving God, that even when you stray and fail, he still loves you so much that he wants you back with him? I know I am. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for your unfailing love. We are thankful that even when we stray, you welcome us home with open arms. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I sure miss you guys, and I hope we see you with each other very soon. Bye.